Hello. Welcome to Living English. In today's program, we look at how to ask about the past. Remember, Anne went to see John, the private investigator, and asked him to help her find her brother. In today's episode, Anne tells John more about her brother. Let's see what she says. My brother David worked in the family business too, but he didn't like it. He wanted to try something different. So what happened? My parents agreed. They let him come to Australia to study. Uh, where did he go? He came here, to Adelaide. He studied computer science. We thought he was happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then what happened? I don't know. He wrote every week and then the letters stopped. Mm. Uh, do you know where he lived? He stayed with an Australian family. He was a boarder. Here's the address. Did you find them? Yes, of course. He left there a year ago. I don't know where he went. Does he have a mobile phone? I don't know. He did, but he doesn't answer it now. Don't worry, Miss Lee. I'll find your brother. I wonder what has happened to Anne's brother. You'll have to keep watching our program to find out. Anne had to tell the private investigator about things in the past. We change the way we say certain words if we are talking about the past. Listen to how Anne does this. My brother David worked in the family business too. Which word tells us that Anne is talking about the past? Listen again. My brother David worked in the family business too. The word that tells us that Anne is talking about the past is worked. It's a verb. Verbs are words of action or doing words, such as run and walk. They are said in different ways to show when the action is. There are four ways to say most verbs. Let's look at the ways of saying the verb work. The basic form is work. I work hard. After he, she or it, we say works. She works hard. John works hard. These are called the simple present tense. They describe things people do all the time or every day. To talk about right now, we say working. I'm working hard now. This is called present continuous tense. And to talk about the past, we say worked. I worked hard yesterday. This is called past tense. The most common sound we use on the end of verbs to form the past tense is d. Work, worked. See how we spell the sound d. Now try saying worked with Anne. My brother David worked in the family business too. Let's listen for some more verbs with this d past tense form. He studied computer science. He studied. Studied is the past tense of study. Repeat this with the clip. He studied computer science. Now listen for another past tense with a d sound on the end. He stayed with an Australian family. He stayed. Stayed is the past tense of stay. Most verbs have this sort of past tense. We call them regular verbs. 
It would be easy if all verbs were regular, but some are different. Listen. He wrote every week and then the letters stopped. Wrote is the past tense of write, not righted. We call these sorts of verbs irregular. Try saying, he wrote every week, with the clip. He wrote every week. In the next clip, see if you can hear the past tense of think. We thought he was happy. The past tense of think is thought. It's spelled in a strange way, but it's easy to say, thought. Try saying, we thought he was happy. We thought he was happy. Did you notice the other verb used all the time in English in its past tense form? Listen again. We thought he was happy. Was is the other verb in its past tense form. Was is one of the forms of the verb to be. It's very important and you need to know how to use it. When we are talking about the present, about now, we use is. He is happy now. To talk about the past, we say he was happy yesterday. And you can say I was happy or she was happy. But you must say you were happy, they were happy and we were happy. Both was and were are past tense. Have a try at using the right one for talking about the past. I happy. I was happy. They happy. They were happy. You happy. You were happy. He happy. He was happy. It's time to say hello to Michelle. Hello Michelle. Hello Brenton. Hello everyone. What are we going to do today? We're going to talk about the past. How to ask about the past and how to say things so that people know what time you are talking about. You can start by asking me about my past. Okay. You're very smart. Uh, did you go to university? Yes, I did. I enjoyed university. I studied drama. It was fun. Now pretend that we've travelled back to the time I was at university and ask me about it. All right. Do you go to university? Yes, I do. I enjoy university. I study drama. It's fun. Now you're in the present. Yes. Ask me about the past again. Did you go to university? Yes, I did. I enjoyed university. I studied drama. It was fun. Now, what words changed? Well, enjoy became enjoyed. What else? You said it's fun for the present and it was fun for the past. And? We both said did instead of do for the past. Yes. Michelle, did you get our coffee? Yes, I did. It's just over there. I'll go and get it. Now listen to John use the word did to ask about the past. Where did he go? He came here to Adelaide. Sit down, Michelle. What did you just do? I sat down, like you said. Ah, so sat is the past tense of sit. Let's look at some more past tense words. First, stand, stood. Stand up, Brenton. What did he do? He stood up. Smile, smiled. Smile, Michelle. 
What did she do? She smiled. Go. Went. Go away, Brenton. Oh. What did he do? He went away. Come. Came. Come back, Brenton. What did he do? He came back. Catch. Caught. Michelle, mm. catch this. What did she do? She caught the ball. Let's see if you've been listening carefully. It's your turn to talk about the past. Try saying what happened using the past tense. Michelle down. Michelle sat down. Brenton up. Brenton stood up. Michelle Michelle smiled. Brenton away. Brenton went away. Yes, but I came back. We hope you enjoyed our trip into the past. We learnt how to use was and were and some of the ways that verbs are said in the past tense. In our next episode, we're going to go into the future and find out how to talk about things we want to happen. And as usual, we'll leave you with another look at today's episode of Sisters and Brothers. See if you can hear how many past tense verbs there are. How many are there? Well, there are more than 20. Good luck and see you next time. Bye. My brother David worked in the family business too, but he didn't like it. He wanted to try something different. So what happened? My parents agreed. They let him come to Australia to study. Uh, where did he go? He came here, to Adelaide. He studied computer science. We thought he was happy. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? I don't know. He wrote every week and then the letters stopped. Mm. Uh, do you know where he lived? Mm, he stayed with an Australian family. He was a boarder. And here's the address. Mm -hmm. Did you find them? Yes, of course. He left there a year ago. I don't know where he went. Does he have a mobile phone? I don't know. He did, but he doesn't answer it now. Hmm. <laughs> don't worry, Miss Lee. I'll find your brother.